My name is Craig Burtis. I work with Sebago Technics. I'm a project manager representing Great Falls on the Edge at Berwick project. Today we were talking with the public. It's a, it's a general public informational meeting that's required by Maine DEP before we make a site location of development um, submission. So this is part of the DEP process that we're generally complying with today by holding this public informational meeting. All right, Ron, thank you for coming. No problem. Uh, I'll turn this so you can see it. So you are, you're, you said you own this building right here? Yeah. Okay. So um, the L-shaped building right here is the only building that will remain as part of this project. And 11 new buildings are proposed across the entire site, as you can see here. Um, so there'll be a new roadway approximately directly across from this street here. So this island will be removed as part of the project as well. And the new roadway will extend directly across and it will tie in almost across the, directly across from Lyman Street. Um, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a two-way street here with parallel parking on along this side and then like kind of like dine-in, drive-in parking along this side here. So really, so what's important to you around this area is this area will be developed as the, like a central park um, where the community can hold events. And that will be the focus of this entire area over here. And there'll be a memorial approximately where it's shown here. So that memorial that's there now will be slightly uh, relocated and rebuilt. Um, and that, there's more coordination around exactly what that's gonna look like with Great Falls. Uh, this DEP submission won't get into the details of that. So as part of the DEP submission, it's required that we hold a public informational meeting. And I have to tell you which standards it, has, it needs to meet. So we're generally complying with Title 38, Section 481 to 490. And what that is, is, is the site location of development permit. And that's the highest level land permit with Maine DEP. So they're gonna be reviewing it with all there's a number of sections that we have to address, including stormwater, air quality, um, inland fisheries and wildlife. We and we've sent all the letters to inland fisheries and wildlife, Maine natural areas, Maine historic. And obviously, given the site that it is, there's really nothing that has come back as far as environmental concerns or anything of that nature. Um, from Maine Inland Fisheries and Wildlife, we do have to deal with the stream that goes through the site. So that's that's one of the what we're dealing with. It's a three foot culvert that crosses Wilson Street. And then there's a 48 inch pipe that goes through the site. So as part of our storm, yeah, it goes and it crosses over into Salmon Falls River. So as part of our DEP submission, we've, we've looked into that. Um, and Army Corps isn't going to require a permit for that only because we're not adding fill on top of the stream. We're just doing a culvert replacement. So we're also submitting a Maine DEP Natural, Natural uh, Protection Act permit, permit by rule, for that, for that culvert replacement. So through DEP it's the Natural Areas Protection Act permit and then also the Maine DEP site location. that. Because right now that's an old corrugated metal pipe. So, as far as what we've determined when we did our survey, it's a, it's a core, it's probably a combination of materials. But um, either way, it's been in the ground now for 20 plus years. So it's it's more than likely beyond its useful life. So we're as part of this new development, we'll be replacing that 48 inch pipe. So we hope to improve any drainage concerns. I know the Public Works Department had some drainage concerns. They wanted that thir Wilson Street. They wanted that 36 inch pipe. There was no problems where we was Wilson Street here. Just Wilson Street here? Uh, Wilson Street? Yeah. Yeah, right here. So. Nobody messed up in here. So those guys built that building up in here. Lapia never had any problems. Now the whole back of this property is all flooded. The guy that runs the town, uh, our person, he doesn't know what to do. So they're putting it on here. But that street comes down from here, and I think they, 
might have done something wrong with that road. But it's not your fault, it's already there. Yeah, but we are replacing this culvert that crosses here. Right now, that's that's a three-foot culvert. At a minimum, it's going to be a four-foot culvert, if not a little bit bigger, even like a box culvert, possibly. So we hope that that improves any water that's ponding up back over here. So we're planning on making a DEP submission tomorrow on this. Get get it get it in and it's a fairly intensive review process typically it takes around six months and we hope that it's going to take a lot less just because Great Falls wants to get going with construction you can see that they've already started out here so ideally they want to even start construction in January of next year so that's that's the plan Julie I don't know if there's anything else you want to say no, I think uh, maybe one of the important things for the public to understand is that um, that wait period with DEP, we can't start anything new on the site until we have that permit in hand. And so um, so if, if folks aren't seeing progress like they'd like, I think that's one of the reasons why we would, we're required to wait um, until we have that in hand. The existing building runs a separate permitting course than the rest of the site. But um, So cleanup will take place as we're waiting for that permit um, because like I said, we can't get started on anything new until until uh, we have that permit in hand. So I think that's the only thing I'd, I'd add. But you will be initiating the town process fairly soon, probably within the next month, month and a half. We'll be making that town submission. So we we are going to make the town submission while we're waiting for DEP to approve it. it excuse me. Yeah, the, the town of Berwick has, they have provided us with a letter of just that we did, we are submitting with the DEP application just to say how important this project is to the town. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone knows that it's going to be a mixed use development, so generally commercial on the first floor, residential on the second and third floors. Uh, we're at 164, I think, the total of apartments are right now, and that's at 164. That'll fluctuate uh, a little bit here and there, but they're a mix of studios, one bedrooms and two bedroom apartments. And I get this question all the time, so I'll just nip it in the bud now. Um, those those apartments um, certainly are large enough to house families, but uh, generally speaking, we see and we're, we're, we're experienced developers. We see that uh, studios to two bedrooms uh, attract you know a, a workforce, uh, younger couple, couples, people at the uh, you know age in which they want to sell their house and downsize. So I think it'll be a, bring a great mix of of new people and also support the people of Berwick that are looking to, you know, at, at that stage in life looking for uh, a rental. So, um, so yeah, we're excited, excited to get going. I was only joking with the lady from Summer Group, but is there any intent to bring natural gas across the, across the river? I think, I believe Great Falls is looking into it. Um, no, yeah, no promises yet as, as to, because there's a, there's a negotiation thing where the, gas company needs to evaluate the gas load of the project and right now I still think a lot of that is is a little unknown yeah it's definitely something we're, we're talking to them about it's and so there's going to be 164 units and that, that's businesses. Possibly. So 164 apartments and then I think we're at 27 uh, to 30 um, uh, commercial units. So that's what we're looking at now. But that might fluctuate here and there a little bit, a demising wall here and there a little bit. But that's what we're looking at now. And just in regards to the natural gas, good question. We, we're, we're talking to the natural gas company. It is a significant cost to bring that over. Um, the, the bridge so uh, so we're, we're talking about it to see if it makes sense and just analyzing it but 
the marks and has to be you know, the pass on the yeah. state and federal government you know, and that's it. Yeah, good suggestion, but I yeah, we're definitely talking to him to see what, what, what we can make work, but yeah. That's about all I have, unless either of you have any other questions. Well, uh, we're not hard to find. This is the, the great team of engineers that has helped us uh, from Sebago Technic, so we appreciate all the work. And certainly if anyone has any questions, uh, I'm easy to find, so uh, don't hesitate to reach out. A copy of the application will be on file at Maine DEP um, if you ever want to look at it. Also, feel free to reach out to any of us, and I'm sure we'll be more than welcome to talk about this in greater detail with you. Great. Thank you. And did you did you get a chance to fill out the... Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah, if you remember, this is what hand you use too. <laughs> so, so the L-shaped building will be the only existing building to remain, and surrounding it, surrounding it will be 11 new buildings. Indicate well street. Question man. There was one question during the public informational meeting about the drainage culvert that crosses the road at Wilson Street right around in this proximity. I let the public know that we will be replacing that culvert with a larger culvert because the Public Works Department has let us know that there is an existing drainage issue at that culvert.